how to use the duplicate feature in segmented gradients in Critter. Well, first thing to do, go to the gradient tool and then just come up to the panel for the gradients, so top, and then go to add and segmented gradient. Select that. So once you've selected that, you can see the cemented gradient. So that's the default cemented gradient. What you can do, you can stretch it out. You can move it around, you can move the panel around so you don't actually have to uh, keep it that size. You can make it much bigger. It makes it easier actually to work if you actually pull it out a little bit. Give it a name, that gradient, and you can see the default colors, which are black and white. So you can change the colors for the left as well as the right. You can also change the opacity. I'm not gonna touch those. I'm not gonna change the opacity. For some weird reason they set it 1%. Should be 100%. I don't know why it's set 1% there, but I'll just keep it like that. You can also change the actual color mode. So it's HSV. I'm just going to go with standard there, RGB. But you can change different, create different color schemes just by using that. You can see it goes from green to except the rainbow. Now, also, you can also how it's applied as well for that segment. So it's just for that segment. So if you create multiple segments, you can actually have different methods, different uh, color schemes. Apply depending on for each of the segment. Well, what you need to do is go to the segment. You see it's blue there. You can see it just a little, little blue segment that's been selected. So duplicate that segment again. You can see the others are white, and it's that blue one that's the one that's selected. So just go to that and then just click, right click, and use the duplicate segment. And again, you'll see exactly the same. So you've got blue green, blue green, blue green, blue green, and so on and so on and so on. Now, obviously you can change the colors of those. So once you've selected that segment, just change the color for the left as well as the right. You can also change the opacity if you want as well. Again, I'm not touching the opacity. So go and select that one. So you can go duplicate segment. Again, click that one. Duplicate segment, and you see again, purple and green, purple and green. And the other ones are totally untouched. And you can select that one again. And make it smaller and smaller and smaller so you can get a really really lots of very fine lines just by get, using that duplicate segment and again you can stretch it out further again duplicate so duplicate segment again makes it a little bit fiddly to work with once you get too too far so well again just change the colors if you want of those and you can see one that's a nice rainbow color in there as well up to you and once you're actually happy with that, once you've actually tweaked that gradient, you can tweak it, you can move all the stops as well. You don't have to keep the stops in the same position. You can, so there's a whole range of different things you can do with this segmented gradient. Click close, and that's it. It's saved off to the preset panel. You can see it just there. Now, when you actually come back to it in the application later, it might reposition it somewhere else. So now, once you've actually done that, you can apply it. You just, just drag it across. You can apply it using opacity, change the opacity. Reduce it right down so you can see it's just fine. You can also change the blending mode so you can maybe use normal, you can use difference, you can also use raise method depending on the actual gradient itself. So it's probably best, but blending modes are probably the best way of using it as well. So if you just going to click raise there, that one doesn't do much, but some do, some are quite nice actually. Now, what you can do blending modes, you can use maybe difference, there's normal of course. I'm going to go down to difference, select that, and you can see then just apply it very quickly. Once you've actually created the design using this gradient, this segmented gradient with these duplicates, you can apply effects such as filter, Gaussian blur, etc. Right, I hope you found that of interest. Thank you much.